What is up guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Legion Invasions. I know there's been quite a lot of like t guides and stuff out already about these Legion Invasions, um, you know, reminders and stuff. But today I'm actually going to talk about something maybe just a little bit different. Um, I'm actually going to talk about just a few things you can do, a few tips and tricks you can do during the Legion Invasion to kind of, um, you know, maximize your, your gains and minimize your losses. So right here I'm actually leveling a shaman that's level 99 um, she's actually about to hit level 100 already very very soon she should be able to get level 100 through this last invasion and um, during stage one you really can't do anything there's the only mobs that spawn usually spawn around the city so the the kind of the only thing you can do if you want to maximize your exp gain is kind of just to um, tag as many mobs as possible <coughs> Excuse me. So there's there's quite a few mobs around. Like you, you kind of just want to use use your AOE or not AOE. I mean, um, any sort of range attacks and just tag anything that you can. Um, if any level 100s hit hit these mobs, you actually lose a lot of EXP. But anyone below level 100 hitting a mob, you actually you still get quite a lot of EXP. Um, you, you know, I tagged a few mobs just now. You see like numbers like a thousand and stuff popping up. Um, you know, if you just run around during stage one and two, um, tagging as many things as possible, then you will get a little bit of EXP, just as a bonus. So I tagged that boss, I also got a bit of nether shards, um, and I tagged that inferno and got me like 600 EXP or so. So you just kind of just want to run around during stage one and two, tagging things. Um, stage three is actually where you get the most EXP. Um, Right here, I like to take advantage of the siege weapons. So if you if you can try to get your hands on one of the siege weapons, I know for the alliance side it's really easy to get one if it's in Westfall or like Don Moreau. Um You can't really get any in Hillsbrad. Um, in Northern Barrens, you can't get any either. In Ashara, there's some there's those glaive throwers. And in Tenaris, I don't think there's any um, siege weapons for alliance. But in West Westfall is actually the best place for these invasions. So definitely do the Westfall invasion if you're if you're on alliance. Oh shit! I, I accidentally misclicked and I actually <laughs> I actually lost that siege vehicle. But what you want to do around stage three is actually you, you just want to um, look for some mobs that no one is actually fighting. So actually these guys are tagging a lot of these mobs. Um, you know, even if they, they are already tagged, you, you kind of just want to, um, you know, kill as many things as possible. But the, the, the trick here is to try and kill things without any other, you know, anyone else tagging them. Um, if you kill one of these elites with the siege weapons, it takes about like 10 hits on this, on this tank or so. Um, if you're able to kill it by yourself, you actually get quite a lot of EXP. And this EXP stacks with the rested bonus. So if you have some sort of, um, you know, if you left a few characters in, in the main city, so this is like 1,500. I think I just ran of, out of um, rested EXP, but you get about 20k if you are able to kill one of the, the elites by yourself without the rested experience. Um, you get about 4,000 with rest, rested experience um, if you kill one of these normal mobs, like non-elites. And that's around like 90-something. I don't think they, they really scale. Like I don't think the EXP actually scales, um, or maybe it does. But you know, I w I've only leveled around ninety something through these invasions because there's there's really no point, um, in my opinion, leveling like one to ninety through the invasions. You're probably off better if you if you um, just do dungeons and stuff, like with the heirloom bonuses, and or even better if you have like the recruiter friend thing on, and you can just boost you know power level yourself um, through one to ninety. But this is a really good way to get from 90 to 100. And yeah, see, I just got around 20k or so EXP. And if you have a few characters you want to level up at the same time, um, you can just leave them in the main cities for, for some rested experience. And you just kind of do a rotation. Um, they changed the, the time of the invasion. So th they only last two hours, and then the location changes. So you won't be able, you might not be able to get like, four characters up to level 100 but you should be able to get at least maybe like two or three um, every single rotation and all the other ones where you you kind of just left um, you just leave them in the city and then they can get rest experience and then you can just you know keep leveling the ones that you want to level either way when when you kind of run out of mobs you just want to walk back 
and um, try to grab another siege vehicle and hope that some of the mobs around the other side respawn. Um, if you can't, then the next best, best thing, if you can't get any siege weapons during stage 3, is to actually go around. Um, this is kind of a little bit asshole-ish, but um, you want to wait for someone to start fighting some mobs, and then you just start tagging them for the shared experience. Um, they get less experience, but you know, you, at least you get some experience. Um, and if, if you're actually more interested about getting crystals instead of getting EXP, this is mainly about EXP, but if you're mostly interested about getting crystals, then you obviously know to go after the bosses because they get a, give give around like five to fifteen crystals every single kill. Um, you can actually go go for these crystals if you're near level one hundred. This way, you can have more of the the um, I think they're they're called crystals or are they call like nether shards or something like that. Um, either way, they look like crystals. You you can get more nether shards if you just go around and tag all the um, you know all the boss and, and name mobs basically the ones with names like Dread Knight, Zell, Zach Gal. If you um, actually wait, this this guy's the boss. This this guy's actually a boss. But you know if you go around and tag the ones that that are named and stuff, um, you get more nether shards. So if you're really really close to a hundred um, and you you haven't done these events yet, you might want to actually go for the nether shards during the, those times. So when you're level 100, you can open up all the boxes and get as many um, shards as possible. At the end of the video, I actually have a bunch of boxes saved up. I'm actually going to open them all. Um, I might I might switch specs midway if I have all the all the pieces I need for a specific spec. For stage three, you really can't do anything. Um, kind of just want to hang around. You don't really need to take the boss, even if you do take the boss you, you can't really do anything I, I'm just here trying to contribute whatever you know a little bit of DPS I can because um, I don't have any gear on if you have been wondering why I'm still naked at this point um, I I took all the gear off this way I don't lose any durability if I do die because you actually get killed quite a lot during these these invasions um, especially during stage one and two where you're running around taking things um, if you're in stage three during if you're like during stage three, if you're inside the um, the truck, then you won't get actually be taking a lot of damage. But this is mainly for stage one and two. If you're just running around taking things for you know the maximum amount of experience. All right, he should be going down soon. He's at around fifty percent. I don't know why they like to run around and kite stuff. If if you're like really really try hard. Um, what you could do is you can start a group. You can go into your group finder and actually start a pre-made group for for these invasions. Um, this is especially good if you're going for the shards, because this way you know where everyone else is going um, on the map. You can actually start a group, and then you just start inviting anyone you see, like anyone that's walking around. You just invite them. 90% um, of the time they're gonna accept. Like I I really haven't had a, a single time where I invited someone and they just declined. Um, you know, because everyone wants kind of wants to be in a group. If you're in a group and one one person tags one of the bosses, then everyone in the group gets nether shards. So it's a lot better to do this in a raid group um, if you can. But obviously, it's a you have to kind of go out out of your way to do that. So it's a little bit troublesome. So a lot of people might not want to do that. Um, if you're doing that doing this for experience, then obviously you kind of don't want to do that either. Because if if you tag someone, someone's in your group, then you might. Um, you know, you, you have to you have to share experience with them. All right, the boss is almost dead. Uh, I'm just actually gonna run to where the the vendor is, run as far as I can. So once he dies, I'll be at the vendor. And if I if I can get far enough, I think I can start mounting up. And then I'm gonna open up all the boxes, and then we'll see what I can get. I put these two demon hunter weapons on my shaman because I know I'm going to be getting a lot of these um, coal. Wait, coal sked fell. Um, basically, you can use this to upgrade your weapon. So right now I'm level 100. Finally, I'm going to head to the Illidari camp, and I'm going to open up all these boxes and see what I get. 
So actually, I need I, I don't think I can pop them like really really fast. I kind of just need to open them up one at a time. Um, and then once I have one set, I might switch to like the elemental set because I'm in enhancement right now. Um, I might switch to the elemental set and try to get a few pieces for that as well. So we got gloves, chain, warforged gloves. You actually have a chance to get um, higher level gloves, I think, or higher level anything. If you, you might get a chance to get warforged version of it, uh, which is seven ten. Bracers. I already have bracers. I should open up a big one and see what I can get. So I think the helms are contained in the big ones, like helm chest piece or something. Um, got a warforged shoulder. Let's try to open up another big one. Got a warforged version of the helm. I actually have more small boxes. I might actually pop a few of these first. Bracers again. Hmm. Not sure if the boosts are contained in the small ones or the big ones. Actually, I'm just going to pop more big ones. See what, what they give. Another Warforged shoulder. Chest. Another chest. Another chest. Wonder how. I wonder if the weapons are in the big ones or the small ones. I think they're in the big ones, if I remember correctly. Man, how do I get pants? Alright, finally got a belt. Oh wait, no, never mind. I already have a belt. Oh, I need some pants. Well, another Warforged helm. A normal helm. Oh man, how... Come on, please. I need. I just need a pair of pants. Oh, I actually got a. I got an axe. I actually got two of those. All right, I just need pants and boots, um, and I'll be good. What a warforged ver version of the bracers as well. Warforged chest. Normal chest. Alright, finally got some leggings. Now I just need the boots. Oh, come on. I only have a few boxes left. I wonder if the boots are in the small boxes. Oh, the, the boots are in small boxes. Alright, let me see which ones aren't warforged. Um and let me let me just do a double check. So I have the helm that's warforged, shoulders chest bracers gloves so my um my belt boot and pants aren't warforged actually i'm too lazy to play enhancement like it's it doesn't really matter because this gear is going to get changed anyways um the only thing that this this gear is used for is for the first few level levels of like you know lesion when you're just going out leveling um so I actually just might open more boxes and hope to get Warforged versions of like pants and stuff. Come on. Nope. Not Warforged. Oh, I got Warforged pants. Um All right, let me pop the small boxes first. Oh, small boxes contain boots, so I might get a I might get a Warforged boot if I pop enough. Come on, come on! Lucky roll, please. And I think that those are the last boxes. All right, so let me just make sure there are no um, Warforged boots. I didn't accidentally get one. Nope, they're all normal boots. And these are all normal belts. And these ones are Warforged. And the, the axes, all right. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually just sell everything. 
And then I, I realized I actually do have one last box. Might get me my lucky roll. Um, I think the big boxes don't have boots. Oh man, this is this is quite a lot. <laughs> Alright, give me give me one of these um weapon upgrade things. Nope. Alright, so with my remaining currency I can buy more nether shards. Um I think should I should I enhance my demon hunter's weapons or should I nah let, let's just do my own. I might as well. Stage three, stage four, stage five, stage six. All right, I think my shaman's probably my best geared tune. Um. I gotta buy the neck and other pieces first before I do anything else. So I'll need I'll need a cape. I'll need a neck. Crit haste or haste mastery. I think mastery is probably more important. Um crit mastery, haste mastery, haste. I just like haste because like it it increases like um utility spells. Like I can recall and go home faster. It doesn't really matter because, like, it, you're not, you know, you're not in like super high tier rating. You don't need the best, the best stats. Like, you don't need to optimize anything. So, I, I really just like to stack haste for convenience. Um, so you're, you're still missing one ring and one trinket. Um, what I like to do is I like to go fly into Tanan jungle and then grab a ring and another trinket there, really, really fast. So, let me see. Um. Still got a thousand currency left. Let me buy a few more of these and then use them to upgrade my other axe. Or I think my enhancement chamois is probably my most well geared tune at this point. Um, still need two more. One more. All right, so I got I got three more for my glaives. Um, I actually have a few more of these, and I can swap these glaives around for on my other characters. So these can get plus six. So I I'm gonna put priority on my own weapons first um, before I start enhancing my demon hunter's weapons. All right, so this is um this is basically all my gear. And what I like to do now is just fly to my garrison and grab just grab the um the stuff I need from Tanan. Come on, come on, come on. So where you want to go in Tanan jungle is actually right here. Um the agility ring that I like to take is this one. I think this one gives like haste and mastery as well. Um, the agility trinket, the only only agility trinket in all of Tanan is is this guy. Um, so he's the only one that drops any sort of agility um, trinket. If if he's not up, I usually like to just fly over here. And this one gives um, stamina and versatility, which is pretty much used by any class. So if you're missing one trinket, you can just grab this one. Um, you know, this is obviously for tunes that you just got to level 100 that have like absolutely no gear at all. So so I just might as well you know get something to fill my slots. Um, and this is usable. Like this is pretty much usable on anyone because everyone can use stamina and versatility. If you're if you're in um, if you're intellect based, there's actually two in trinkets. There's one over here. And there's one over, um, I think it's like over here by one of the rares or something like that. Um, 
No, it's like it's like um, an item that a treasure or something you can pick up over here. So this one gives, is like intellect and haste. Um, and for if you're strength based, you can grab another ring over here. Um, the intellect ring is over at. Um, not sure if there's an intellect ring. Can't rem remember. I think I think some rare drops the intellect ring. Um, you're gonna have to look that up because I can't remember. If, uh, you know, off the top of my head. But if you're a strength, um, you can also use this ring because this ring also gives strength and agility. It's for strength, strength agility based. And there's a strength vers versatility trinket over here. Um, if you're if you're a tank class, you can also grab this one for stamina instead. All right, so this is um, this is the ring that I was talking about, the one with strength and agility. It gives um, agility, yeah, haste and versatility. So pretty much anyone can use it. And I, I forgot to check if this rare is up. Um, but if he's not, I'm just gonna go go over here and grab this um, stamina trinket. Like 90% of the time, he's not up. He's also an elite, so he might be a little bit of a challenge to solo. But if you, you know, if you just came out now, like my my item level is already pretty high. If I get like one more slot, it's gonna be like 600, um, 90 something item level already. So should be fine. Um, And I think he's oh he's he's dead. All right, he's dead. I'm just gonna grab this trinket as my last gear. All right, this is gonna take a little bit of flying. Um, not sure which one I should get. Oh, ascendance, definitely ascendance. Send in this whole OP. Come on, we're almost there. All right, so we are here. Um, I also forgot to mention, if you're a caster and you need an offhand, you can actually get one right here. It's just a treasure. You can just go and pick it up. I, I'm not sure what stat it adds, but you know it doesn't really matter. You just kind of need some gear to fill your slots. Um, this, this isn't really that important anyways, because you're going to have new, brand new gear in, in a month or so once Legion comes out. So all right, this is my last piece of gear. And um, exactly item level 700 after gearing up and upgrading your weapons to full um, and using like almost all War Warforged versions of the um, the Fell set. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.